This is some new Institute for Contemporary Art at Virginia Commonwealth University. And it's really a gateway building. This is the most uh, busy intersection in the center of Richmond, the, one of the most conservative towns in America, but it's totally radical. It has nothing to do with Richmond brick architecture. The front of the building has intersection and torsion where one gallery goes up in the air and the auditorium forms canopy over the entranceway. The second concept is the idea of art today. There isn't a grand narrative in art, and I thought the building could express that in forking time. And so the galleries were organized on these bars that fork out and form a garden space. The two pieces of the concept are joined by what I call the plane of the present. That's this singular plane which pulls this north light up and forms the shape of this building. It looks different from every side. As you go around it, the building has a dynamic. I chose Rhine Zinc very early on for the skin because it's super cost effective. It's pre-weathered a blue-green and it'll deal with the pollution at the center of the town. The perspectives, they don't reveal themselves in the first look. You come in and you, you feel drawn to move up because there's this spiraling ascension in the geometry of the central space. The forking time idea organizes all the galleries, but when you're inside the building, you get these knives of space coming the other way. As the building slides by the auditorium, we made one big piece of glass. As you're walking, you suddenly look down into the depths of this auditorium. It's a building that makes some question mark towards the future. And then probably the most important part of it is a social condenser, bringing the community the unknown people that haven't been to a museum and the university bring all those people together in that place. I think it's one of our most important buildings and I'm very grateful and honored to receive this award. This notion that buildings have to be traditional because they're in a traditional setting isn't necessarily true, especially when you're working with young people and you're working with a problem of art. A contemporary art museum is about questions. It's about looking forward. What kinds of questions art can bring?